So what you see here is um, a demo for part one. It consists of a demo for the videos encoder. What I'm trying to do now is to load the videos encoder. You all you have to do is type in Windows Media Encoder, and you see an icon of the Windows Media Encoder. Double click it. It will launch. Choose Capture Screen, and then click OK, and then choose next save the file name into a directory so that all your screen actions will be captured into a WME file and click next and then you see that the choose high and then put in the correct title for the file that you want to create all the correct file attributes once you have keyed in all these file attributes you may proceed to click next and now just choose capture when you start before you click next once you check this checkbox to capture and start and then it will just start capturing the screen actions that's how you start the screen capture from windows encoder so this is the demo about windows movie maker Previously, I have uh, created a demo for the Windows Media Encoder. I'm going to stream the. I'm going to use this Movie Maker to stream all the demo videos together, to create a voice overlay, create captions, and then wordings, so that it becomes a presentable and user-friendly kind of video, and it's uh, easily understood. So what I'm doing now is trying to create a new title for this. Um, demo this is the new title before I enter into the video and after that I'm going to add a subtitle which is um, part one how to start a uh, how to start the Windows Media Encoder I repeat again, this demo is uh, actually about Windows Movie Maker trying to stream together all the screen capture videos by the Windows Media Encoder and to make it as a one end-to-end pre -end presentation video that is f user friendly and that has title and has captions. After uh, adding titles and captions and after adding the title, now it's time to add in the part one of the video that is uh, captured previously about how to launch the Windows Media Encoder and how to create a capture. So this is how we insert the video into the Windows Movie Maker. Choose the video and then you see the video is inserted and if you play uh, on the left hand side of the screen you will see that the video will be projected and uh, how you format the video and what caption you put in or what voiceover or whatever voice there will be in the video you will be able to hear it so don't forget to save the Windows Movie Maker project so that um, all this um, editing is is kept intact in the file the this is a windows media project file that will keep all the editing that you have done all the all the captions and all the voiceover that you have done and um, so that you can later export the video out as one whole presentation So part 2.1 is to add a narration to the video that we have created because sometimes when we use the Windows Media Encoder our voice might not be clear enough and when you use the Windows Media Movie Maker the narration is pretty clear so um, you can set the video volume to zero 
this is how you set the video volume to zero so that um, later on when you export this video it will focus on the narration and the video that you have captured will be minimized to zero this is where you click to start the narration and then when you want to start the narration all you have to do is to click the record button the red circle record button and that's when the narration will start it'll ask you when you when you finish the narration it, when you click stop it'll ask you to save the file and then you will be able to see the narration bar below the video in brown color this is the narration bar from there you're able to also trim off the narration bar set an endpoint if you look at the bar some of it is empty with no sound you can actually trim trim off the bar by setting an endpoint or set a start point or you can even split the bar and cut it off however you want to implement it and also where you what you need to do is click on the narration bar which is the chocolate color bar and set the volume to maximum so that your voice is loud and clear in the video presentation.